Hey guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead and Tom. <laughs> <laughs> he's been out doing yard work and I go, he's like, it's so hot out here. And I go, well, why don't we just go in and start dinner and then you can finish it up after. Because he didn't get to do it last week because it was raining, which added to even more. <laughs> so in the pan we have, now let me tell you, the recipe I'm going to post is where I got the idea, but I'm not following it, if that makes sense. <laughs> like he never follows a recipe. Like it wants you to add corn tortillas. I don't want it to be like that, and I'm just not the biggest fan of corn tortillas. <laughs> so I have some of my frozen onions and my frozen peppers, and Tom will get those stirred up so that they can get to be cooked. Because, yes, I forgot to take any out. I was busy canning. <laughs> I'm going to take my pan, my 9 by 13, hopefully this is not too big, and I'm going to spray it. Now what I'm going to do is take... Oh, I'm that one right out of the pan. Well, you don't want to do that. I'm going to take what I've got left of the salsa, and I'm going to pour it on the bottom. And I know this is meant for rice, but you know what? We're going to use it for this. I like my rice paddle for more than just my rice. I don't like, like want rice to taste like rice. Hold that. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to have two rice recipes next week. So I finally sat down and made the recipes up for, some, for next week. Now, I did have someone saying that... The healthier recipes, some people might not like that, and that might be why my viewership is down. Um, they're not all going to be healthy, but I need to do somewhat healthy because, well, my life is valuable. <laughs> At least I think it is. <laughs> but anyways, um, and a few other things that she mentioned. So if you guys have ideas, then let me know. So next week, give us a holler. Give us a holler. Holla. I wouldn't do that because it's going to flap out. <laughs> That's what happened with the onion. I know. You shouldn't do that then. Um, <laughs> See there? I got it broke apart. Ooh. Tom the big cook. Anyway, so um, next week. <coughs> Sorry, guys. It's that time of year. Um, anyways. Next week, I'm going to do freezer clean out with pantry, whatever. Um, I placed an order today, and it's got some stuff in there that's not groceries, but it was only like $38. My goal is to keep groceries under 50 bucks for the next month. So that's not going to include, like, you know, like I needed parchment paper, stuff like that. So I'm going to do my canned goods like someone suggested, incorporate my canned goods into everyday life, and that's what I'm going to do. Canned goods freezer and my pantry. And let's see if all of us can save some money, because I think at this point we all need to. So this is going to be black bean butternut squash casserole, and I'm going to make it my own. So I canned up butternut squash, and I drained it out. I'm not going to cook it with everything else because, you know, it's already cooked. And we don't want it to be, you know, we could probably use that bigger pan. Dang it. That's right. Um, and I don't want it to be mushy. So, well, there's something else I need you to get to, but we'll do it when we turn the camera off. So we probably didn't need four cans, but that's all right. I think that's probably the sweet one. It was. That's okay. Alright, so I'm going to put it on the bottom because, like I said, I don't want it to get all mushy. So let's get everything else together, and then I'll be right back. Alright, so now I had some kidney beans left over yesterday. We're going to use those. And I have my home canned black beans that I have rinsed out. My home canned corn. And 
And I told Tom, I said, I'm going to have a whole bunch more jars for you to take downstairs. <laughs> he didn't seem too excited about it. We need some now. Yeah. They're all full now. It says to use a teaspoon of um, cumin, but you guys know I'm not a cumin fan, so we're only going to use about a quarter teaspoon. Put a hole in there. Yeah, it'll be really hot. The adventures. You want it really hot? Not really. Okay. <laughs> and then a teaspoon of chili powder. Ooh. And you know, it only asks for eight ounces of corn. We use 16 because we have the whole. Here, why don't you use that instead? And then it says to add a little bit of salt. So some of it I am following, just not all of it. <laughs> now, if you remember, if you watched my canning earlier today, and I had a bunch of black olives left because I didn't have enough jars. We're going to add some of those black olives to that too. That's good. I'll figure out how to incorporate the rest of those somewhere. <laughs> Make sure you stir it good. Then I had some of that cheese left. And so what I thought I would do is just kind of drizzle that Over the squash. Drizzle, drizzle. Never let anything go to waste. How if I just put it all on there and spread it? Oh, I know something else we forgot too. <laughs> What's that? Sour cream. Oh, we need sour cream. Huh? We need sour cream. Why? I don't know. <laughs> you just don't want to get up and get it. Who are you kidding? <laughs> You know me so well. I do, too. All right. Look at all those jars I just emptied up. So we're going to get that warmed up. And we're going to get out the sour cream. And we'll be right back. All right. So now we're going to take that filling and we're going to pour it over the top. Look at that. Oh. I'm going to have a couple of Mexican inspired things next week, actually. One time's like, yes, please, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we're going to take a few dollops of sour cream. I'll put a smiley face on that. Stop. He wants me to put smiley face on there. I think that should probably be enough. Yeah. And then we're going to kind of try to cream it. You're creamed. <laughs> <laughs> See what I put up, you guys? You're creamed. He's excited the Lions are winning right now. He forgot all about his game and he was outside cleaning the yard. All right, so then the last thing, you're getting a bit above yourself, aren't you? He was grabbing for the handle of the oven already. Stop playing, child. Then we're going to take that mozzarella cheese on top. I think you should have done that. We could have done that. Could have done. Yeah, probably. I think we got enough cheese on there with the other cheese, too. Sit there and chew on it. Yeah, it'd be all like the cheese pulled. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to put this in the oven and kind of let it get all melty and cheesy and all that good stuff, and then we'll be back. All right, so we actually we brought the chairs out here, so we thought, well, we'll just try dinner together. So, 
Let's see if we can get both of us in here. Thank you for the food we're about to receive. Amen. All right, this is piping hot. It just came out of the oven. Got blow it cold. Got blow it cold. <laughs> Jimmy's gonna get a lot of leftovers. <laughs> that is really good. I had a whole bunch of squash given to us a couple years ago. And so I canned it all. And we thought we had to need to start using some of that up. This is good. What is that? You want a buttercup one up? Buttercup? Buttercup cup squash, yeah. Mm. So what do you think, one to ten? I'll give it a ten. That's good, ain't good. <laughs> and we got rid of a few things that we needed to, too. I didn't think that sour cream would give it anything at all, but it does kind of taste better. Mm -hmm. I would bet money that wouldn't have tasted right. <laughs> this didn't sound good to me. <laughs> Blow it cold. Well, this kind of taco dish. So. Yeah. Mm. Anytime you have black beans, you should have sour cream, I guess. Yeah, that should be. You like butternut squash anyway, though. Mm -hmm. Any way you cook it. I won't tell you what I call it, but anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thanks for coming along with us. You guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing and goodbye, Tom. Goodbye, Tom. Bye, Chris. You guys have a fantastic night.